So I was thinking the other day, I was on my phone texting while looking at an email on my iPad while also watching a YouTube video on my laptop. I've always got at least one of these things attached to me, just on me at all times, just like trying to like talk on the phone. I'm like, oh my god, girl, totally. Let's let's do that. Let's just put this in my calendar. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I got I gotta look up a YouTube video. Can you imagine if the internet just went down everywhere for like even like five minutes. We're just super advanced and we're smart and we can do so much because of it. There's also a side that could be potentially not so great. So I thought I'd do a video about six ways that technology is going to completely screw us in the end. Number one, our kids are gonna know everything. There is nothing that's not documented. Your 12th birthday party when you blew out your candles. Your wedding when you were naked. I don't know why you'd be naked at your wedding. Everything noteworthy that you've probably done is on the computer somewhere. In a photo, in a tweet, in a video, in an embarrassing photo of you puking. Yeah. All those parties that you went to when you're like, woo, and you take a selfie, and you take that selfie while you're guzzling Red Bull with, with your friend Jenna over here, that's online now. Imagine this for a second. When your daughter's 13, Okay, and she wants to go to her friend Becky's house. You don't know if there's gonna be boys there. You don't know if there's gonna be parents there. You're not sure. She'll be like, please mom, please. And you're gonna be like, oh honey, I just really don't think it's a good idea. It's a school night, okay? And she'll be like, really? Did you think it was a, a good idea when you and Aunt Nancy drank Jaeger bombs all night, mom, huh? Did ya? Did ya? What are you gonna say to that? Are you prepared for that conversation? Cause I'm not. I didn't have sex until I was 27 when she can clearly see you dancing topless at Mardi Gras. Good job, mom. Number two, we're not gonna be able to hide from our friends anymore. I think I'm just gonna go work out, you know, and uh, and study a little bit. Super boring, I know. And then when your friend's out doing that thing that she invited you to, she's gonna be on her Facebook and she's gonna be like, Oh my god, you guys. What kind of gym has a bartender? And male strippers? <sighs> that bitch. Number three, brain implants. Yeah, guess what? I just got one of those crazy brain debit card chip implants. It's so great. No more losing my debit card. <laughs> oh my god, girl. It has saved my life. You will love it. Go get one right now. Interface access granted. <laughs> Doesn't even hurt. Vote Justin Bieber for president 2025. I don't know about you, but that is terrifying to me. That can't happen. Mm -mm. I want none of it. Number four. So think about the amount of exercise that you do on a daily basis right now. If you're like me, you probably get to the gym once a week if possible. But I run for like five minutes uphill and I'm like, woo! I purposely don't even look at the screen to see how long I've gone. I just turn it off and I walk away. But now they have the iWatch, which this looks nothing like. I can't afford an iWatch, okay? This is the best thing I have. So now when I go out and I do things, I feel like I ran like 10 miles. I just Oh, I did so much exercise, it feels so good. How much did I run today? And it'll be like, yeah, bitch, you walked for 26 feet. All day. Get off your butt and go exercise. <sighs> we can't win. It knows how much you exercise and it knows you're lying to yourself. Girl, get back on that treadmill. This is gonna ruin our lives. Number five, the self-driving car. It's about the size of a smart car. There's no wheel at all. Somehow it figures out where you want to go and the car just takes you there. It has sensors all around so it can see people walking. It can guess the distance between you and the car in front of you and the car behind you. Basically, they'll be able to make driving so perfect that no accidents will ever happen. I think that's the overall concept. I have a problem with this. If we have a generation of people who grow up with only self-driving cars. They don't know what a wheel or a brake pedal even looks like, okay? What if everyone's in these self-driving cars, okay? And everyone's just going about their business. What if someone hacks the mainframe system where all these cars are controlled from? How is that ever a good idea? Every car in the world could be controlled at one time? Is that not terrifying? And then what? Then all the red lights turn green and everyone just goes and there's like car pileups everyone... <sighs> Sounds like Carmageddon, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, it wasn't that funny. And last but not least, number six. Right, number six. The idea of 
technological singularity. Technological singularity is essentially what can happen when we create an artificial intelligence with the ability to improve itself. Are you with me? It's like Skynet from Terminator, it's like the machines from Matrix, except you know, actually real. This process of improving itself is called recursive self-improvement. So the the AI, artificial intelligence, will continue to do this over and over and over until it becomes so massively intelligent and we will be completely at its mercy. It can control everything. Security cameras, traffic lights, bank accounts, satellites, anything at all that's online. Basically, humankind will be run by this crazy, massive artificial intelligence that we created because we're so smart. I looked up a statistic. If AI technology continues to progress at its current pace, this singularity will happen around the year 2040. That's only 25 years away. Uh, no thanks. Dude, it would affect planes. If you're traveling, some hacker can be like, do 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 Oh, I've got control of the entire thing. What are you gonna do? So, in summation, enjoy your time as a non-robot slave, because apparently, that shit's gonna end pretty soon. Oh well! Don't waste it, live every day wonderfully, sleep tight!